Are you a huge fan of the new Skybounce game on Roblox? But are you bad in building? Or you just don't have the inspiration? Well guys, these 13, yes, correct, 13 wall designs will help you further in the game. Let's get right into it. Yo, what's going on? It's Skelly and I am back on the YouTube grind. Today we are here in a Roblox Skyblock. And yes, I will say that it's a uh, Roblox Skyblock because... Most of you might be confused if I just put Skyblock in it since we also use to play Minecraft Skyblox on our YouTube channel. So, for you guys' information, it's two different things, not the same thing. Not the same thing. But it looks a lot alike, but it's still not the same thing. So let's get into this video. I am here to show you guys 13 designs that will help you improve your buildings and have more quality and creativity to your Iceland. So I am here in my VIP server and um, these are my two friends Nikito and Leos who are always here. They will be standing here and enjoying the view from my video because I told them to stand there. <laughs> so let's get right into it. We start off with a really simple design that's not hard to make at all. It's a flat design on the back and I have used that for everything so you can use the optimization of the inside of any of your houses or buildings, farms, whatever you feel like. So today we start with um, this little design made by, I intend to call it spruce, but actually pine woods, but I call it spruce because it looks a lot like Minecraft spruce. So today I use some uh, birdsje. I think it's birch at least. Yeah, birch planks. I used some pine wood, glass, and uh, birch stairs. So it's really easy to make. Basically, every design that I made here is a 5 by 4 So 5 sidewalls, 4 upwards design. So as you can see, you need to have at least 6 of these birch planks. Let's say like 20... Uh, 20? Yeah, 20 pine woods and some extra 5 birch planks. It's an easy design, it's not hard to make. Just fill up the back with, uh, I did say 20 spruce bag, but it's not actually 20 spruce bag. Fill up the back with the spruce bag, cut out the middle three parts, just one, two, three. Now put the stairs, put the glass in the middle, put the stairs up front. Put the stairs here up front and block it off with all your delicious spruce. Spruce! No, it's not spruce, it's birch. Spruce plank. So, up to the next sign, which is a little bit uh, different than the other sign. It's still simple and plain, but interesting. So, you will probably be wondering, like, what's going on here? Well, basically, this is mostly a... Uh, pine wood design with a little bit of birch. So you can see here I used three birch yes birch fences to go up like a little tower effect and put a stair on top. Then I made an entire wall out of pine wood. I cut off a like cross alike figure. If you can see look um, let me so you guys, it's one, two, three, four. It's literally across. And I left the upper part open. Then I put a stair here, which makes it look like there is a little hole, but actually it's not really a hole. I did this on the same parts too, and then I put a glass in the middle. That's how you got this little cute design for your house or your farms or whatever. Then over here, I decided to Start with a little extraordinary. I like this idea, and out this idea came this idea. You can combine these two, which will be a really good result, by the way. So, what you do is you put all your stone bricks on the side, which gives a really nice effect. And you can basically put this side there over there, and so it goes on and on. So, you got a full wall of these. I used some of that delicious. Maple tree wood, because oh gosh, I love the maple trees. And use those stairs in the middle to form a cross. Then I put the glass in the middle, 
And then I ended it all off with pine planks. This one I like really much because this one is plain and simple but yet beautiful. I used some bricks on the side and the red and the grey gives a uh, how do you call it? lovely lovely effects and lovely creativity to your buildings. I put just some glass in the middle. This is actually a really good part for farming or anything. If you go over here, this one is made by a friend because I asked him if he wanted to make one. Uh, there should be a glass here, but he didn't have a glass apparently. So, he did a little M formation with, um, I call them mix, right? Bricks, three bricks there, three bricks here, and one stay in the middle, and then you put a glass, which I will do by the way over here so you still have light inside your buildings this one is a good one for farms too i definitely recommend it then i was over here and i was crafting around and i was like huh i still got this great thing and then i realized hey that's actually not a bad idea so i made a shape like an n and basically it's an m but i made an n shape with my maple wood put two trellises in the middle, put the grapevines in it, then put the stone in the middle and put all these maple stairs in front of it. Um, little tip, you can change it up however you want. If you want this to be wood and stone, you can do that. It doesn't matter, you can do it whatever you like. This one is also made by my fan. It's a little simple uh, big window for all your farms. It's not hard to make, but it's creative and I like it. Over here, I have the typical house situation where you use stairs and have a big window to look through and see all the beautiful flowers and grass and the people dancing over there. Oh gosh, the beautiful flowers. Huh. <laughs> it gave me actually two red flowers. But I used here four brick bricks I mean stone bricks four stone bricks four um, oak these are oak by the way oak stairs on the sides to create this effect and then put six windows in the middle put three on uh, birds birds what the heck oak uh, planks on top and three oak stairs downstairs then I came over here with this little creator hoops creative idea over here you do just basically the end format again but this time we have pine wood put five stone bricks in the middle as a cross do the glass over here 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 and put two stairs in front then over here is a little bit um, more how do you call it fabric like wall that can be used very well for farms or an iron fabric that you want to have going on or a coal fabric that you want to have going on or your huge carrot farm <coughs> default place currently so how is this made well guys this is not hard at all first you build three blocks up on the sides you put two stairs on top then three blocks again in the middle this is all stone brick and stone stairs guy then you put well, one stay here one stay here one stay here one stay here then you make uh, how do we call this a tetris form with your glass and put one stone block over here okay guys this one is actually fun because I was just messing around actually and I noticed hey I can put letters on stairs uh, on the uh, fences so why not do that why not use this generous ideal ID to make it so what I did is I first made a layer of three by four fences and put four birds with blocks on there then I put the same amount I think no I did um, three by three on the stairs in the middle then made sure that the blocks over here 
are more in front. Those are three birch blocks, three birch blocks, and two birch stairs. Which makes this little pointer. And I thought this would be really cute to uh, actually have around a uh, farm. So let's say you made like a big wheat farm and you want uh, these cute little, you know, the inside of the um, fences. You can put it around your farm. But also make sure you can still get in it because you can just go boom and then you can go in it. So that's you're very useful. And then last but not least, no, least but not less maybe. Hmm. This is my little pattern that I like. A lot of people like woods and I decide to do pattern. So what happens here is basically it's a repeating pattern. So at first I did um, two spruce on the sides, then two birds on the sides and then one maple in the middle. Then I decide to go inwards with spruce, which means the spruce goes in the middle, then the maple goes outwards and the birds go outwards. Then I decided to decide that, hey, I got a spruce here, spruce, pine, whatever, we call it whatever. Uh, and decided to put it on the maple because it wasn't yet on the maple. And then I ended it up with the same design as here, as here. Then I made sure that I put a little maple fence in front. Then as you can see on the back side, I put the birch one. And a maple one, another birch one, and a maple, and then put the stair again, and then top it off with my spruce. So, guys, that is actually my tutorial on how you can make 13 really cute, simple, not hard to make designs for your houses, farms, fabrics, or whatever you're planning in the future of this Skybound. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, be sure to share it around. Give it a like and comment what you like about and want to see more. I am Gally. Yes, the Gally Bates. And I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.